Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather. I am a styling, skincare, hair care, self care enthusiast. I don't have any training or anything. I just have people ask me questions sometimes. And so I decided to start a YouTube channel to share my thoughts. So my iPad is on 8%, so hopefully I can actually record this video. We'll see what happens. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, I'm in a, a bit of a perfect storm of events here. Um, my birthday is coming up in a couple of days. Huh? And I'm one of those people, you know, being Leo season, um, I'm one of those those Leos. Not surprising that like, I want to celebrate my birthday before my birthday and after my birthday and my birthday. And it's like, once my birthday passes, it's like, well, I'm sad. So now I need something that's going to cheer me up because it's not my birthday anymore. Um, so I'm definitely one of those people, which is terrible. I also do that with vacation. So it's like, oh, I just got back from vacation. I'm not on vacation anymore. Now I'm sad. So I want to buy something for myself, um, which is terrible. But also I have a ton of birthday coupons, so I don't nearly end up spending as much money as I could because of these birthday coupons. Um, so I've ordered some stuff. I ordered a pair of um, fashion sneakers I've had my eye on at DSW with my birthday money and then with um, the money I had already like earned by buying more crap at DSW. Uh, I ordered some stuff for my friend for her birthday because most of my friends are Virgos. So I have lots of Virgo birthday presents to buy. And so um, the Anthropology was having a big sale. So I sent her a bunch of stuff because uh, she lives in California. It's just easier to send it right there. Um, what else did I get? I got some stuff from Loft. I got one item from Loft today that's really cute, uh, but I didn't get the rest of the, I got three things from Loft. I only got the one thing. I don't know where those other things are, um, but because I had a good coupon and everything was on sale, I paid for faster shipping. So I'm really hoping that uh, it actually like arrives soonish, like it's supposed to. Um, what else did I get? I think I got something else. I don't remember. Anyway, so what I got today that I wanted to show you is my little mini Sephora haul. So I, I pretty much know what's in here, I'm hoping, but I selected a whole bunch of samples and sometimes they send you different samples because like they don't have the original samples or whatever. I don't know. Um, so let's see what, let's see what we got here. So the first thing I have is, um, this is the birthday gift that I chose, which is a, a Tatcha set. Um, so I really like pretty much everything that I've used from Tatcha. I have one of their cleansers that, um, it's like the gentle rice cleanser that I'm waiting to open because I have so many cleansers. So um, this, the liquid silk canvas, I've used this before. This is a, um, a primer. Uh, I'm actually really getting into primers because I've noticed it really helps with my under eye area. So in the morning when I wake up, um, usually what I do is like I put on sunblock first and I give it a chance to sink in like I clean the cat boxes and um, I take my medicine for the day and you know give the cats their breakfast then I come back I put the primer on and then I get dressed um, and give that a chance to sink in and then I put on my um, um, eye cream sort of half concealer thing and I let that sink in and I you know do whatever I'm gonna do and then I come back and I finally put my concealer on and that makes everything stay and you can see it's it's pretty dewy under there right it's not it's not bad so today what I have on is a little bit of eyebrow mascara because the dye is already wearing off that I got them colored in Croatia um, the concealer under my eyes mascara and lipstick that's that's all I have on today so we have um, Tatcha the rice wash soft cream cleanser so I think this is the one that I have in my bathroom and then we have the, the dewy skin cream. So I'm not always a fan of a dewy finish. Oh, this is purple. Um, I've gotten Tatcha moisturizers before. And so if I don't like this for the day, then I can just do it at night, right? Um, it has that uh, typical Tatcha smell, which is sort of, um, it's a little uh, uh, vapor rubby, but like vapor rub at a spa kind of thing. Um, so I, I like this fragrance. Um, but Tatcha's not for you if you if you don't like fragranced items. So, um, so there's my birthday gift. So there's that. Uh, so the next thing that I got, this was one of my hundred point samples. Um, this is the Lancome UV Expert Aqua Gel Defense 50 Plus. Um, so now I'm getting obsessed with sunblock because look at me. Um, and so I just I thought I would try this. I had like 600 points or so. It was like not enough to get money off of my uh, order, but it was enough for me to get a whole bunch of samples. So that's what I did. This, um, this just smells like sunscreen. It doesn't, well, it doesn't smell as strongly as sunscreen usually smells, but it definitely has a sunscreen smell to it. Don't forget the part in your hair here, because if that burns, that is really painful, and it's very, it's very hot outside today. Um, no, this, this has a little bit of a lawn comey spa smell to it, so we'll see what this, we'll see what this, I mean, it's, it's a sunblock. You're going to know if it doesn't work more if it does work, you know what I mean? Um, so there's that. Okay. So uh, the next sample that I got, I know, I went a little crazy on the samples. 
Next sample I got is Living Proof uh, No Frizz Shampoo and Conditioner. I'm finally to the point where I am using up a lot of my um, shampoos and conditioners that I bought because I just I just go a little crazy and I buy things because um, that's my life, that's what I do because it's terrible. Uh, and so uh, I'm trying out some new shampoos and conditioners. Um, and so I really wanted to try these because I love Living Proof. None of their stuff has ever steered me wrong. Um, so I want to try this No Frizz shampoo. Granted, this is Sock Curls Day four, three. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I haven't. I just. I do the sock curls and um, I rake my hands through it, and then after that, I don't really pay attention to it. So I don't know what this is doing. But um, I am always looking for things to help frizz and to add moisture because my hair is naturally frizzy and naturally dry because uh, wavy hair is frizzy and dry. Um, so there's there's that. Um, okay. So now. Uh, I think I'm just going to get all everything out of here. Okay. Um, put this in it. Sorry. Just organize. I'm an organizer. Uh, okay. So the next thing I have is Lash Idol from Lancome. Um, so if you guys can get uh, mascara samples uh, that are about this size, they're going to last you about three months anyway, and that's how long you should keep your mascara anyway. So it's like, why, why get the large version and actually like pay for it when I can just do this? So um, I've used Lancome Definisils before. Um, I like Lancome products. As you, I just got the, I just got the um, sunblock. So uh, I got a little mascara um, of their Lash Idol. We'll see how this, we'll see how this works. Because right now today I have on um, Stila Huge, which is my typical mascara, which is a little wetter than a lot of other, um, a lot of other mascaras, but, but that's okay. Uh, all right, so now, okay, Dr. Barber Sturm V-Drops. This was one of the things that I picked. I've noticed with Sephora lately, the samples that they've been giving you online are a lot of like foundation samples, and I don't really wear foundation. So I'm just looking for things that aren't foundation that I can try and use and, you know, sort of go from there. So I'm not sure what these V-Drops are. Uh, it's an active... <laughs> uh, okay, I, I really didn't know what this was. Um, on the back here, it says, so a lot of it's in German, because Sturm is a, a German name. This says, active concentrate for the intimate area. I, I didn't know Sephora was selling lubricant of that kind. I, that might be what that is. I mean, maybe I should have known from V-Drops here. Uh, okay, I, I didn't know what that was. That's, that's interesting. That's fun to learn that on camera. Okay. All right, we're, we're gonna put that aside for now. We'll, um, I guess we'll try that. We'll see how that goes. Um, the next thing that I got is the Algenis Genius Liquid Collagen. Um, so this is this is not appetizing looking, right? Um, so I snagged this box about 15 minutes after it was put on my doorstep. So hopefully everything isn't like melted. Um, after cleansing and toning, apply to the entire face, neck, and decollete, which is, by the way, this this area down here. I did get a little bit sunburned um, on my chest here when I was in Croatia, so I do need to take care of it. Um, for optimum results, follow with moisturizer. Use only as directed. Well, I mean, the directions aren't exactly rocket science. I, whatever, they're just trying to protect themselves. So this little, like, ampoule thing, I don't even know how to get in here. Um, I guess, like, uh, oh, here we go. Okay, you can open it like this. There we go. Oh, that's really an ampoule. All right, so they probably, this is, this might be two applications, which, I mean, it's a sample, that's fine, okay. Um, but there's, there's that. And now onto the things that I actually ordered. Um, so, you may have heard me talk before about um, uh, uh, Tracy Ellis Ross's pattern line. Um, I really like that line. I have their leave-in conditioner, I have their shampoo and their light conditioner, the regular conditioner, and all of that works fantastically. It's at a really great price point. Um, it works really well for my hair. I like it a lot. It smells great. Uh, if you can find it in your area and, and you know, uh, if you're a white person and you want to get it, don't get it at the expense of a, of a person of color. But, you know, it's great to support um, uh, people of color owned brands. And it's really, it's a great product. I really enjoy using it. Um, and so uh, I'm thinking to myself, well, maybe I would like other things that are, are good for um, uh, hair of people of color because that, that my hair seems to respond to that well because it's pretty coarse and it's frizzy and it can handle a lot of moisture. So um, I've been wanting to try this for a while. This is the Bread um, Gentle Milky Hair Cleanser. And so this is for all hair types. Um, hair wash is a light marshmallow-like cream. Uh, it transforms into a gentle lather. I've read online the lather is not that great. I've read that online also that the smell has changed. Ooh, that smells really nice. Um, so 
some people did describe it as the as like gummy bears because I have bread hair oil that I don't use super often, but I do like it. I do use it. It smells exactly like gummy bears. I am not a um, gummy bear person, but still, it smells good. Uh, and so this hair wash, it smells like a lemon pound cake. That's what it smells like to me, which I think is just is just lovely. So I'm really um, looking forward to to using this. Um, thoroughly wet your hair section into four equal parts. Apply a generous amount to the first section. Make sure the product reaches all aspects of your scalp. Give your scalp and ends a gentle scrub using the pads of your fingers. Then glide the product from root to ends of your hair, ensuring all strands are coated. Repeat with remaining sections, then rinse. Continue to scrub your scalp while rinsing. So uh, you don't often see people actually describe how to wash your hair anymore, which I think this, that's a really useful tip, um, especially because my hair is so thick, it's hard for me to get in the back here. So it's a good, it's a good reminder like, hey, section this out, wash this first, and then get in here because otherwise the shampoo is not, not going to get in there. Um, so I'm really looking forward to, to trying this. This seems like a decent size container, right? Uh, 8.4 ounces. It seems like it uses less plastic being in this container. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and then uh, somebody was very excited that Pat McGrath eyeshadows were coming in a smaller palette that was actually like sort of affordable. So this little palette here uh, was $30, which I wouldn't normally spend, but it was for my birthday. There's no notch in this. Hang on, hold please. I'm gonna get some scissors and open this guy up. By the way, this is a dress that I got in New Orleans. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, what some cultures may call a shimato. Uh, what my mom often calls a mumu. So I really like this mumu dress. Oh, I think it's super cute and I really like the color. Um, got, uh, this, this is from New Orleans. It was the very first shop I went into. I was very mad that I bought something in the first shop I went into. and. Um, it's half linen, half cotton, so it's really great for this time of year. So this is a teeny tiny Pat McGrath, um, but let's let's see how this is. Nothing is broken, thank God. Um, so this palette is called the uh, Midnight Voyage Eyeshadow Palette. And so the reason I got it is because uh, all of these colors are going to look fantastic on me, because I know my skin, I know what looks good on me. Um, so this purple on the bottom, uh, I'm particularly excited about this one. So these colors, um, we have Skin Shadow Divine Glow which it, I think it's this one, I think. Uh, then we have Entrapment in the middle. Then we have Sunset Bronze. Yeah, it has to be that one. Uh, then we have Extreme Aubergine, which this is a very, very dark purple. Uh, Elegance and Night, uh, I'm sorry, Eleganza. And then Night Creature is over here on the end. Interesting. Um, all right, so my mom actually, she's like, oh, do you want this eyeshadow palette? It was from like Maybelline or something, like just a drugstore brand. And normally drugstore brands are perfectly fine. Um, but when you put the eyeshadow on, it didn't, it didn't do anything. It didn't stay on your skin. It didn't look like anything. And I was like, no, I don't, I don't think I want this. Uh, I do have a mirror here. So I'm going to try to use this mirror. I'm using uh, the shade Night Creature, which is the, the brightest purple. Um, so I've talked about this before. When you're looking at um, eyeshadow colors for yourself, uh, something to think about maybe is the color wheel because um, what's gonna look really good on you is uh, something that is the opposite of your eye color. And so um, people with blue eyes, uh, a really nice sort of chocolatey, oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh my God, that was such a tiny bit of shadow too. Oh, that's perfect. This is exactly why I bought this palette. Look at that purple, love it. Um, so yes, uh, so my eyes are green, and so purple eyeshadow looks really good on green eyes. Copper eyeshadow also looks really good on me. Um, if you have blue eyes, those coppers, uh, browns, um, are gonna look really nice, really nice, like chocolatey browns, um, are gonna bring out the blue. And then of course, brown eyes can wear a lot of different things. Uh, you can wear blue eyeshadow without looking like a wackadoodle, it is possible. Um, but uh, oftentimes people with brown hair, brown eyes, uh, and especially slightly darker skin tones can get away with um, a lot of different colors, uh, especially with lipsticks, and I get very jealous of that. But, um, okay, what I, I don't know what's going on with my application here. Um, clearly, I'm just using my fingers. I actually thought this palette was going to be a little bit bigger, and I thought it was going to come with an applicator, which is why I didn't grab a brush from the other room, um, but that's okay. So... All right, well, I think we need, I think we need a little more on this side. Otherwise, the color isn't even. There we go, that's where I wanted it, okay. We could also just, you know, get some of this off here. 
Uh, so for this Pat McGrath, uh, I think the colors are really beautiful. I think they, they go on pretty easily. <laughs> Clearly, I'm just using my fingers and it's humid outside and I should have gotten a brush. Um, time will tell if they actually last on my eyelids. I do, when I put the primer on, I kind of put it all over my eyes, so I do technically have primer on at the moment. Um, but this was exactly the kind of color payoff that I was looking for, um, for an eyeshadow like this. So I might even show this to my mom because I think she would, I think she would like these colors too. Although her eyes are blue and her hair is blonde, but that's okay. Um, anyway, so those are the things I got in my little mini Sephora haul for my birthday. Uh, and I hope it inspires somebody to get something that, that they really love. Uh, I will come back and let you know how this how this hair wash works out, um, and I'll let you know what I end up doing with these guys because I, I, this is not what I was expecting. So um, I hope everybody has a super awesome rest of your day. Thanks so much for tuning in. Put any questions you have down in the question box below, and I will talk to you all later. Thanks so much. Bye.